Hey, and welcome to Neverwinter with Aragon. So we have an event right now which you can make a lot of astral diamonds off if you have prepared beforehand. I'm just going to go and cover it to you guys if you haven't made any preparation, or you might do so for the next time. Right now, we have times two professions, double professions. And most importantly, that lets us use explorer charts to obtain profession reagents to sell for lots of astral diamonds. Or, of course, use if you're a crafter. And I personally wouldn't recommend going for that as it's hella expensive with very little payoff unless you're in for the long run. Now, additionally, to be aware of, we have in the Wondrous Bazaar one of the best mounts for supports. Right now, if you have VIP 12, you'll have 25% off and this will cost you 2.25 million. Now, that's pretty cheap, all things considered, for a mythic account-wide mount that has this kind of bonus. It has the combat power eclipsed armament, which will increase the incoming damage on its targets and also decrease the outgoing damage on its targets. So it can be used for both your team dealing more damage against the enemy and also so they take less damage. This will be vital within the new trial. And if you're a healer or tank, I would highly recommend you make sure to have this mount. If not, well, it's not such a big deal for DPS. So it's on sale now and it's only there once a week every half year or so now additionally if you have vip you can take advantage of a sale to purchase a coalescent moat for 50 percent off that's about as much discount you're going to get on coal moats and i would recommend getting it just be aware you can only get one of them there is another sale that comes around regularly where you can buy like three of them for basically 50% off each. Additionally, we do have a discount then with 20% off all the companions and 20% off any of your VIP. 20% off, you can get that through invoking through these celestial bags of refining. So not that great having 20% when you can get it already, but it, it's there. And of course, we do have times two to dread ring. So this would be the time now to go to that Dread Ring campaign, that legacy zone, and do some quests there. Farm those Vanguard scripts. You'd also want to go and farm your skirmish, your Dread Legion. That'll get you a bunch of scripts just by doing a simple queue over and over. And basically you do that to get your Thean Lair keys to then be able to get your enchanting stones through that grinding of those Thean layers during double refinement. Now, let's get more in depth into double professions and how you can get the most of it. So if you watched my previous video, starting last week, we have Stronghold Week, where you wanna be going and spending your guild marks to buy scrolls. And I done a bit of math just now and figured out that these are the different pricings. And from this, we can clearly see that we should probably be taking the Chult scrolls for Shoshin Star and Omu. So I'm going to go and take a fair share of either and we'll just buy those. They are actually like half as cheap as you would get with the Sharandar ones. And we can go and we can spend all of our guild marks there. You're going to have multiple characters that you might have wanted to grind out guild marks. And then you want to be getting all these explorer charts. Now, you would have done this already. You could have gone and done the math yourself. Again, these are just the prices on the PC marketplace as of the day before Double Profession comes out where all these prices will go down again. And so you kind of just want to be, yeah, save on to the reagents you get from these charts and their prices will go back up. And we'll just go and get another one of these. And that's pretty much all my guild marks on this character spent. And then we have these charts and we can go and we can put them on the character of which we want to actually be farming them on. I'm not going to do this character as we don't have, I believe, yeah, we don't have Chult fully unlocked. So we can't get into like Shoshin Star or even Omu unless we do a bit of questing. We have our charts and now we need to use them. Basically, you'll double click this one, let's say Omu, and you'll get an explorer chart, Omu. We'll go and double click that one and accept it. And now you can see we obtain untapped resources in Omu, zero out of six. We'll go, we'll teleport there over to Chalt, into Omu. And here we need to go find, basically just follow the sparkly line to the locations of those treasure maps. Now, you ideally want to have like mount speed active, 
But very importantly, you want to be in a guild which has the treasure hunter boon. You want to make sure that that guild has rank 6 or higher of that treasure hunter so that you would gain double the amount of resources from explorer charts as you can see exactly there. We can use mount speed up until we find the location of where the end of the sparkly line is. You can see them on the mini map here as well. They're just located by the stars. Here is one and before we tap into it, make sure we have that treasure hunter boon generally just keep the treasure hunter boon what this allows you to do is get four times the amount of reagents you would normally get from this node so we got four samatran jutes and then we get attacked by spiders so you might want to be on a loadout where you can do a bit of damage but then you can see that's one out of six for just one shard. Now, before going into this, I had a look at the different prices and we can see that, yeah, the, the Chalt ones, Social Star and Omu, are seem to be selling the most. But that again was before this event started, whereas the Sharandar ones seem to have dropped significantly in the pricings there. And so we just got a bunch of, as you can see in our professions inventory, this jute, which we could see on the auction house, drag and drop here, sells for like 1,800 per piece. So not the best, but that was four drops from one location and we still have another five locations. So we go, we follow our sparkly line and you'll dig up your next one. Again, getting four times the amount of resources from here because double professions makes it so you get twice as much plus that hunter treasure hunter boon to get twice as much again and it's very important you would have that to make the most of this you can probably look around in like protector's enclave put a shout out for somebody to try and invite you to an explorer boon guild or just check in with your alliance usually if they're in any way active they'll have one for you and so we just keep going to the different locations, getting those different reagents. You could you could have two screens, have a movie on the side or TV and just continually farm this for quite a quite a long time. And you could have invested into getting a ton of influence on all your characters and got a ton, an absolute ton of these charts. Now you can really see that some reagents are going to sell more than others. Like here, Lark Resin is going to sell for like 10,000, the Cholton Tea Leaves, like 6,000 nearly. And then in Omu, where we are right now, we want to be getting like the Obsidian Drop as the most expensive. So it is also a bit of RNG, and that's why you would have a ton of these maps and be able to make the most of it. Didn't even need to kill any enemies this run. And there we go, that's one of our charts completed. And we can go, we can get the next chart, accept the quest, and we're here again and we can already start it. And you can get a pattern, you can get your rotation down where you can go and farm these things fairly easily. And we dig it up and we get some more Chilton Spring Water. So just in like one run there, let's say we take this out, we can post these items on the auction house and see what kind of prices they're going for. This would be the default prices of which they were selling at. And you can see we made like nearly 50,000 astral diamonds. That is not bad for like one treasure map. Yes, over time, these things will probably drop in price during the week, but they'll go back up again after the week passes. And it can be just a game of waiting and selling later. So hopefully this is somewhat insightful, you guys, like a few minutes and we've got like 50,000 astral diamonds worth as long as we can sell that at that price. So ultimately, again, in order to prepare for this event, you need to be farming guild marks and you need to be going and spending those guild marks to buy those explorer charts. Well, you can still buy the explorer charts now, but they will cost 20% more than if you bought them during the discount, which I would recommend you go into. And outside of that, you can farm your influence from your heroics during in your stronghold area. You can farm right now the Siege of Neverwinter for vouchers to obtain also more of those guild marks. Save those vouchers and wait till you get twice as many guild marks events which again we just had last week so that's why you would have wanted to prepare for this again don't miss out on the dread ring farming as well just to be able to get those vanguard scripts for the layers massive thank you again to all of these channel members for the continued support and we'll see you guys around goodbye for now now ps as a last note these prices here that i looked at that was for pc 
And of course, they're going to vary so much. You might want to check them again within a week and see which ones are higher in, in value. Make your own spreadsheet, adjust the numbers based on what you see in the auction house, and then you might see which uh, which chart is best to go for. Right now, I find Chult being the best one to go as you can add up the total amount of Astro Diamonds you could make by getting like one of these, each of these reagents, and you can see there, but it will vary so much.